everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, and we are reviewing a new Netflix show called The Trust. Shout out to Miss Leah Simone. I would not be reviewing this if not for your recommendation. The show is pretty good. The show is pretty good. I think season two can come with, if they get greenlit for season two, they can come with a little bit more vim, a little bit more action, more drama. But this was a pretty good, um, this was a pretty good premiere season. I'll give them that. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. So just a quick explanation on what the show is about. You have 11 people on this island living together and they are already entitled to their portion of a quarter million dollars. Literally, that's it. You can choose to end the season with everybody still here and you're all entitled to money. The catch is if you feel like you want more money, you can decide to eliminate people. When you eliminate somebody, obviously the rations are bigger for each person. And if one person votes, that's enough to send somebody home. So the game is all about trust and whether or not you can, um, have faith in these people that you don't know that they're going to have your best interest in heart, making sure at heart, making sure that you have money as well. So we're going to do a quick run through of the cast here. We have Tolu Ekundare. I'm going to put their little bios on the screen so you can read more about them. We have Bryce Lee. Next we have Winnie. Ileso. Then we have Brian Fireball. These are some names, you guys. Then we have Jules Morgan, followed by Simone Stewart. Then there's Julie Theus, Jake Chocolus. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, we have Lindsay Anderson. Why she looks so mad? Come on, Lindsay, crack a smile. <laughs> Gaspar Randazzo. Randazzo, yeah. Lastly, we have Jay Patterson, also known as Mama Jay. The host, whose name I forget, brings out these boxes filled with secrets, but you don't know what secret is tied to what person. It is also up to the person to admit whether or not the secret belongs to them. So uh, the group thinks that Simone regularly lies about her occupation. She said it wasn't her. It was actually Jules. Ryan admitted to believing that money is poison. They believe that Jules cheated with 150 women as revenge on his partner who cheated on him. The group thought that Jay cheated with her ex-partner, no, cheated on her ex-partner with her current partner, but it was actually Lindsay who decided to be quiet at first, but eventually she uh, confessed. Everybody on the other bench was like, nobody knows anything about Lindsay. What is she hiding or why isn't she talking to anybody or why doesn't anybody know anything about Lindsay? I had just left being a devout Mormon. I fell in love with my husband. I did have an affair with him. And now we're happily married with three children. In my opinion, I do think that it was smart to confess. She hadn't connected with anybody at this point. And during the uh, challenge that they were having, she was very cagey, rocking back and forth, talking about how it makes her feel comfortable. Honey, it makes you look suspicious. It does. So it's good that she confessed. It shows people that she could be vulnerable. And honestly, is it that big of a thing when it pertains to the game? Not necessarily. The secrets challenge is still going. Julie attends parties where women are weighed on arrival. However, the group thought that it was Jules. And they think that Bryce is a millionaire. Bryce denied it, but he is a millionaire. I would lie <laughs> to the bitter end about being a millionaire. You're on a game show about money and about who you believe deserves it more or whatever kind of rationale. A millionaire in my presence with, with a little thousandaire like me? Absolutely not, get out of here. Get out of here. Two people, Jules and Simone, are given an ultimatum um, in this place called The Vault. Basically every week or so it seems, they get to go down into this vault and make a decision to either 
benefit the group or benefit yourself. You can each take home $2,500 from the trust for yourself if someone is cut at the next vote. $5,000 will be added to the trust, but you must block two people's votes. The only fair way to do it is just pick the first two names that are listed up there. We don't have to tell them. We can pick the names and not tell them who we pick. It's deeper than just taking away your right to vote for me. I've had to basically claw my way out of poverty, claw my way out of alienation. I think that it was best to take away people's votes. And the reason is because it doesn't actually affect you, especially if you're deciding to not vote anybody out the first day, which is what I thought they would do. That's not what they did. Um, but Tola was very upset about it. She felt like because, mm, okay. I'm gonna try to tread softly because I'm also an African woman, so I understand where she was coming from, but I was like, girl, come on. Because she's from Nigeria, she feels like oftentimes things have been stripped away from her. And so being in this situation, she thought she finally had some autonomy, yet again, something was stripped from her. She really did not take it well. I'm sorry. I feel like she was doing a bit too much because the decision that they made in the vault doesn't actually affect you in a super negative way. If you really wanted the rights to vote somebody out, have one of your friends help you. Now, could she have been not strongly aligned with people at this point? Maybe, but then just don't vote and vote for the person who you wanted to vote for when you get your vote back. She was really upset about it and I was like, girl, is it that deep? Anyways, um, she is expressing her frustration with the fact that her vote was taken from her. And here comes Miss Simone. I don't know, we're talking about, well I, well, I didn't even do it. Who the hell knows who you're gonna vote for? I don't have a voting power. I told him that would happen. You deserve to have your power every day. I could see you've had things taken from you in your life. I know this, just by your presence. It was at this moment when I knew I could not trust Simone. I would absolutely not trust Simone. You mean to tell me we were put in a compromising situation down in that vault and we could, we were allowed to share whatever, like whatever we agreed upon to share. And you're just gonna throw me under the bus like that? You're not gonna show up as a united front? Oh, bet, you're next. <laughs> you're next, you're done. Now it's come time to vote. Everyone voted no to eliminating somebody besides Julie, Winnie, and Lindsay. They decided to vote for Jules on behalf of Tolu because Tolu was so offended by getting her vote taken away. Why? I personally believe that they were already fishy about Jules before going into the vault. And so if that was the reason, cool. But because of how they chose to um, handle the vault. That's why you're gonna vote him out. I didn't. I it didn't make any sense to me. But then I realized a lot of these people in this house are not playing strategically. So everybody is back in the house talking about Jules's departure, and two people take it harshly. I guess you could say it was Brian and Jake. They're going to now vote in retaliation. Basically, they were trying to do the noble thing, saying, you know what, we, uh, we're gonna do this as a family. We are a united front. We're not gonna turn on each other. But because certain people turned on their friend, they're now gonna vote in retaliation. So Jake is now on this kind of power trip. And so he is trying to get to know people, not really genuinely, it was more so to gain information so that he would know where to vote. You gotta create the fallacy form that you're into him. Isn't that like the prettiest thing out there? Oh my God, yeah. Just, it was less than nine months ago, we were separated. Is that where you currently are still, kind of? I really am curious, because you could tell, you know? Um. Everyone kind of has a reason or why they're here, what makes them them. There's a lot to unfold here. I need to make sure Jake's trust in me is solid. He's not going to fuck up this fantasy of me being his dream girl that he could maybe one day get if he proves what a good guy he is to me. Seemingly, Jake is making these deep connections with the people around him. You know, he's talking to Lindsay about her, her family. He's talking to Julie about whatever romantic connection that they have going on. I do think Julie was being a little bit um, naive 
regarding Jake because she's like, I know he likes me more than I like him and I'm going to string him along, whatever, whatever. However, the through line in this season is the fact that she is actually more into him than he is into her. And she often sacrifices her game in order to save his. So that was interesting. They end up having a ranking game. And um, Julie was offended at the fact that Jake wouldn't allow her to rank herself as the smartest of the crew. However, Jake wasn't allowing anybody to be number one. He wanted to be number one for everything. So then the host is like, okay, since you think that you're the leader, how about you rank everybody in this next category? I want you to put them in the order from most loyal to least loyal. All right, Brian, go all the way to the front, all the way up. Tolu, you're good. Bryce, go two down next to Tolu. I don't even think you, there should be a back five. I think you now guys should all be first? good here. Just off of discussions. I'm way closer to you than Bryce is. You think Bryce is more loyal than me? I feel like I'm right up here, man. I mean, at least in the front. Actually, you stay here. I'm here looking at this man like you are so dumb. And here's why. You spent all day trying to convince these people that you were having genuine connections with them, mainly because those were the connections you needed to work on. You had other connections in the house that were a, a, like, a, like a sure thing. Didn't have to nurture it or anything. In my opinion, those are the people you put at the bottom. When it comes to talking about loyalty, you don't want people to think that you don't trust them. At least with the people who already trust you wholeheartedly and unwaveringly, you can go and save face with, save face with them after the fact. These people who you're trying to build connections with, you're already going to burn the connection before it's fully metastasized? You're dumb. Jake got the opportunity to send Bryce and G Glasper, Glasper? That's his name, right? Gasper? Into the vault both of which did not want to go. They're not the only ones who are feeling a way about um, this Jake man. A, a few other people are like, okay, Jake might have to be the next to get out of here. You ready to head in the vault? Nope. I mean, I'll go, but- You're going. I'm not Jake ready. Jake says you're going, so let's go. M-I-S-G-O-N-Y. He placed all his buddies at the very front and then just whatever with the women. Yeah. You put Bulu before me. You put Bryce before me. I know, I'm sorry for so long. Yeah, I'm sure you're really sorry. You make decisions. I don't want to hear your bullshit. It seemed like everyone who had a pulse had an issue with Jake besides um Brian. Everybody was pissed off at Jake and I don't blame them. Mama J said it right. It's giving misogyny. Why do you feel like you must be the alpha of the group and you rank other men as alphas of the group? And even with Bryce sending him into the vault, sure, he didn't put Bryce at the top of his own personal rankings, but again, you would choose men over women. And maybe that's really how you feel. But if you're trying to be strategic, it's not smart. It's not smart at all. You're trying to make it seem like, okay, maybe you're not trying, but you are making it seem like the men are always gonna have superiority in your mind over the women. And so when it comes time to have to cut somebody, the women are going to be first to go. So Bryce and Gasper, they decided to um, protect Julie. So what the, what the vault dilemma was, was it $5,000 per person? if it was guaranteed that somebody was leaving at the next elimination or you remove $5,000 from the pot and you save somebody. So either way, money was coming out of the pot. They decided to just go with the save option and they chose to save Julie. But that pales in comparison to what's been happening in the house because everybody now wants to air their grievances with Jake. You kept putting yourself at the front of the line. I'm the smartest, I'm the leader, I'm this. Where is this ego from? There, there's no ego. I, when that, that when, is... If anyone would have questioned it, like I would have stepped down. I would have gone down to one if you guys wanted me to be there. Are you kidding me? I actually think Winnie should be before Jake. Look at his face. 
Jake was absolutely on a high horse. I don't know who appointed him as master of the villa, but um, it was great to see his ass handed to him. And by the oldest woman in the house. Yes, Mama J. I loved every second of it. What I did not love was Simone again, being a kiss ass. And I'm like, okay, lady, come on. Don't speak for me, please. Just, I'm just gonna say that because I wasn't upset and I wouldn't want anyone to think I was. And Jake knows that because I told him it wasn't. You're a big, big woman. By big, I mean grown, not like big. Sure, maybe she was in support of Jake, but she, whenever it seems like her back is against the wall or somebody's back is against the wall, she just crumbles so quick. And I'm like, mm -mm. that's somebody who I cannot trust. I would never be able to trust her. In the third episode, Bryce has gotten real comfortable with um, Lindsay and he decides to let her know that he is in fact the millionaire of the group. I think you're the millionaire. Okay, yeah, well, you guessed right. Okay. <laughs> I bought a Louis Vuitton oh toiletry bag. Oh my God, bag you keep that, that shit. That is going away. I brought Armani <laughs> shoes, Armani sunglasses. He almost wears it like a badge of honor. Like he really was dying to tell someone he was a young millionaire, I feel. If you were to tell me as a non-millionaire, nowhere close, that in a game of money, you are a millionaire. I promise you, whenever I feel like my back is against the wall, I'm gonna pull a Simone and, and, and cave. I'm gonna tell everybody it's you so that you can go home and we can have more money. What? And, and, and it would Bryce at first, you know, I wasn't really mad at him. He's a millionaire, yeah, but he's just so sweet. He's so hmm, down to earth, which is what I thought that okay maybe it's not a bad thing to have him around especially because he gained a million dollars because of a big sale he's in real estate so it was off of commissions it doesn't mean he is a millionaire and he's not sure when the next big paycheck like that is gonna come so is he potentially in the same spot as everybody yeah but you're still a millionaire that is money that i may never see in my lifetime so that means you gotta go Julie tells Jake that he's been rubbing people the wrong way. Obviously he knows that, but she encourages him to resolve these conflicts. One of them is between himself and Tolu regarding the fact that he has reduced her to just being the African girl of the group instead of knowing who she is as a person. And I will say his apology did sound very sincere to me. Unfortunately for him, Mama J is still determined to want to get him out. I know for myself personally, I'm not going to cast the vote tonight. I do have somebody. Okay. You do? I do. Okay. Yeah. But you do think you're going to vote tonight? Mm -hmm. I know I am. I just feel like it's up to me to save Jake from going home. So what am I going to do now? She's basically alluding to the fact that when it's time to vote, she's going to vote him out. Now, Julie catches wind of this. This was too good. Julie catches wind of this and she's deciding she's gonna cast a nullifying vote because the way the vote goes is majority rules. So if only one person is voting, they're the majority. If there is a tie, there is no majority, so nobody goes home. I'm here thinking she's gonna eliminate, um, that Mama J is gonna eliminate Jake. No ma'am, Mama J chose to eliminate Simone. Why Simone? There's just a little bit of game playing that I, I don't like. Tell me why Simone. This is more of trying to counter out Mama J's vote while still holding trust with Mama J. Maybe she didn't vote at all and I'm the one who sent Simone home by myself. Like I feel sick. I wasn't even mad at it because guess who I did not like? Simone. In case you didn't know. And everybody's like, oh, but she's just such a sweetheart. She no, she could go. What? My girl. Julie is feeling very, I don't know. She's kind of spiraling, can't lie to you. And so she's telling people she's the one who voted for Simone to go. Cause she doesn't actually know if Mama J ended up voting. So she's talking to Tolu. Tolu tells the other women, it gets around, okay, who voted for who potentially, Julie told Jake that Mama J voted for her. It was, it was just, it was just a whole mess. I cast a vote to protect you. Huh? 
What was Jay's reason for voting her off, though? Why is she firing at people? She's a loose cannon, and Tolu and Winnie, I don't care about their connection. Grandma Jay has to roll. Because Julie told Jake that it was Mama Jay who voted for Simone to go, I thought for sure when he was in the vault, because he was voted into the... No, he wasn't voted into the vault. What happened? He picked the right card to go into the vault alongside Bryce. Um, I thought for sure he would have said, we need to send Mama J home. But they actually decided not to send somebody home. And instead, with every non-vote to eliminate, they would gain $2,000. So in the fourth episode, the group seems to be getting suspicious about each other. Um, mainly it is Jay and Jake who are suspicious of each other. And so Jake is thinking, if I have issues with Jay... Maybe she's feeling a way about me because of what she's hearing in her own group. And her group consists of the other women in the house. So he's suspicious of them. They are kind of suspicious of him. All the while, Bryce is here like, you know what? Maybe I should tell people that I'm a millionaire because everybody's, you know, in good spirits. Don't do that. Don't do that. And as much as I would like him to go, that is stupid. Why would you do that? So um, ultimately, the trust between the group was was built stronger because nobody voted to eliminate anyone. So they gained an extra however much money into the pot. Because of that, now Bryce is like, you know what? I can trust the group. So I am going to tell them that I'm a millionaire. We already knew. We already knew. They literally already knew. I can feel tension from Julie right on my left. There's so there's so much more to me than just how much I make. Right. Yeah. Like today, I wore my Armani shoe. <laughs> I wore my Armani. I hate to side with Julie, I truly do. But I was looking at, at Bryce sideways too. You mean to tell me I was raised in a trailer park and you were raised with a silver spoon and I'm just supposed to give you money? And I was under the impression that Bryce was a self-made millionaire. And he still is but he had a head start he came from money so i'm just here like well um you got a cushion to fall back on i don't so i'm gonna need to maximize my earnings as much as possible and if that means getting you out that's what i'm gonna do the funniest part about it is that they had decided to pair up well the host had told them to pair up and Julie and um, Bryce were partnered because they trusted each other the most, supposedly. I think that ideally Julie would have wanted to be with Jake, but Jake chose somebody else. Who did Jake chose? choose? Jake chose Brian. Jake chose Lindsay. Winnie picked Tolu. And then G Gasper was by himself. Bryce decides to talk about his financial background with somebody who clearly does not have a similar upbringing and is currently in a competition regarding money. I do come from money. I do come from wealth. My mom built our entire family off our real estate. That's why I'm invested in real estate, because I can't let it go. He's trying to victimize his privilege. You are the least person that needs this money in the house. At this point of the episode, I wasn't really understanding what Tola was saying. She had said that Bryce victimized himself and kind of mm, kind of made it seem like his privilege was actually a crutch in life and he's just so blessed and he understands what it's like to to live the life that everybody else has lived I wasn't getting that impression at all I just thought maybe he was a little bit out of touch and he talks about all these oh I have Armani this and Prada that and, and Hermes and whatever and I'm thinking okay all right, like that's enough. But I didn't think he was victimizing himself until he had the conversation with Julie. I haven't lived your life. I've had a very, very privileged life. I didn't have to go and beg for food. It's nice to say that I didn't have to go inside the street and steal from my neighbors. You're more deserving of this money than I am. Then how do you make sense of us both being here? I've had my own personal struggles, but I can accept my own privilege. It is not his fault that he's born into money. Some people are just blessed like that. Um, but to sit here 
sorry, let me also say it is still an accomplishment, even though he came from money, to have made a million dollars by the time you were 21 years old. It is still an accomplishment to sit in front of people who very obviously had a starkly different upbringing than you did and to talk about, you know, I understand what you're going through. I too have experienced struggle in my, shut up. If you don't shut, no, I actually had to side with Julie. She was side eyeing him. Tolu was side eyeing him. I was side eyeing him too, because what do you, what do you mean you're trying to relate with me? When you were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth your whole life, this woman literally was raised in trailer parks and you're trying to tell her you understand. Actually, did he even say I understand? He said, oh, I can't relate. All I can do is listen. Well, listen to this. Your ass is going home next. So <laughs> Julie and Brian were gifted a safari day away. Um, and during this time, the whole like Bryce being a millionaire is a part of the conversation. And, you know, um, Lindsay is trying to let Bryce know like, Hey, maybe people are feeling a way about how you're flaunting, um, your lifestyle or whatever. I've had to hide my designer stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, so I should cry. I know you're trying to connect by being like, I also can't be myself doesn't play well yeah. because it's not the same thing is with money it clouds people's judgment i don't know maybe i'm just too heartless to play games like this but i would have kept every because Lindsay keeps getting told things and as much as people didn't trust her off rip she's getting told a lot of things i would have kept all this information and used it as ammo whenever i needed it Lindsay's not playing smart damn near nobody in this house is playing smart besides julie because at the end of the episode, the host gives um, Julie and Brian another vault ultimatum. You never have to share with anyone whether you even opened the offer and took the offer. That's entirely up to you. My integrity is not for sale. I don't want to open it. I want to take the offer. I'm with Julie. Don't like her at all. Trust, I don't like her at all. But I feel like she's the person who is playing... I mean, it might not be a good strategy, but it's a strategy. She's one of the people in the house who's using a strategy. And I really do appreciate that. I need all these other people to get it together. I wonder what the advantage is. We don't get to see until next week. I, I don't know how many episodes they'll be dropping, but I am assuming it's going to be about like three. And then they're going to drop two the week after that. So yeah, I'm excited to see what Julie gets. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I would do it too. So anyways, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.